To determine if H2, hydrogen gas, is polar or nonpolar, let's look at the Lewis structure. So you can see here that with the Lewis structure, we only have a pair of electrons. That's shared between the hydrogen. That's because each hydrogen, it's in group one, and hydrogen only has one valence electron. So they come together, and they share to have a pair of electrons between them, and that is actually all they need to fill their outer shell. When we look at the electronegativity, that's how strongly the atom is going to attract that shared pair of electrons in that covalent bond. We can see that hydrogen, they're both the same. They're going to have the same electronegativity value. That means they're going to both pull equally on that shared pair of electrons. Because of that, there'll be no net dipole. There'll be no difference in the charge distribution on the surface of that molecule. This means that it's not going to have any poles. And if it doesn't have any poles, it's nonpolar. This is Dr. B with the polarity of H2, and thanks for watching.